Hello everyone, um, today um, I'm going to be showing you my Singapore vlog, so what I got up to when I was in Singapore over the Christmas and New Year period. And for those of you who may not know or might be interested, um, Singapore is a small island city-state in Southeast Asia which is located on the southern tip of the Malay Peninsula and they have four official languages, English, Malay, Mandarin and Tamil, but English is kind of the main language which children are taught in schools. So it's a very multicultural place which makes for a very interesting visiting experience. And it's on the equator, so it's very, very hot and humid there. And it's about average 30 degrees in December, which contributed a lot to me not wanting to vlog. So when we arrived, um, we walked over from our hotel to my uncle's place to say hello to everyone because we hadn't seen them in about six months. So I've had one sleep, um, I feel so much better after a good long sleep. Sleep? I feel so much better after having had a good long sleep. I was so, so jet lagged last night, so, so tired. Um, and we're about to go out and do some Christmas shopping in the main shopping road called Orchard Road. Um, and it's 29 degrees today, so it's so hot. Um, and I'm staring at myself in the viewfinder, I do apologise. Um, I shall update you later, and um, goodbye! And then on the next day, we went out to celebrate my granny's 88th birthday at Sentosa Golf Club and had dinner together. And that was very lovely. And the food was great, which you should be seeing now. Um, and we all had a very lovely time. Then we went to Emerald Hill, which is a neighbourhood and conservation area in the heart of the city. And most of the houses are very beautiful kind of um, Chinese Baroque architecture. And because a lot of Singapore is very modern, it's so interesting to see the beautiful kind of old style houses with the skyscrapers in the background. It's a really interesting contrast. And we ate lots and lots of sushi because it's so excellent over there. Um, it was basically our main source of food because every time we went out I just wanted sushi over and over again because it's so good. Amazing, I can't wait to eat this. And there's a fir tree on it, because why, why not put a fir tree on the food? Yeah, so this is a very Japanese thing, is that having um, fake food in the window, so this is how you choose what you want to eat. Um, obviously it's not real, as I said it's fake, but um, isn't that so sweet that that's how you decide what you want to eat? And they have it in the front of um, the restaurant so you can choose before you go in. I just think that's very interesting. And then on this day, we went out for dinner um, and to the theatre at the Esplanade, which is a kind of big theatre complex for the performing arts at Marina Bay. Chinatown which is full of beautifully coloured shop houses and lots of little shops where you can pick up trinkets and things for people and I picked up a few presents there Just take your time and please 
take mine Just take your time Please take mine And we also visited, now I hope I'm saying this correctly, I apologise if I'm not, um, Sri Maria Man Temple, which is actually Singapore's oldest Hindu temple. I also should point out that we were allowed to enter and you're allowed to film and photograph if you make a little donation, which we did. It was just such an amazing experience to go inside and take a look. something called Hokkaido ice cream which is Japanese so we had Korean lunch and a Japanese pudding and mum has got uh, green tea yes indeed. and I've got chocolate so we're going to devour that now it's melting, melting so we're gonna eat them quick 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 quick, quick. <laughs> Day, we opened presents, played games and ate lots and lots of food and I didn't film a lot because we were having so much fun um, and we also watched Elf and then we watched The Grinch in the evening so it was a very traditional Christmas day apart from the fact that it was 30 degrees. And then here we visited Arab Street, which is another neighbourhood in Singapore. And we also visited the Sultan Mosque. And obviously there was a very conservative dress code, but um, they do allow tourists to go inside and look and they provide you cloaks for modesty. But unfortunately it was closed that day so we couldn't go inside. So next time I'm in Singapore, I'm sure I'll visit there again. And then on Boxing Day evening, we visited a bar and restaurant called The Tippling Club, where one of the cocktails that my sister-in-law had came in an actual box. A Boxing Day cocktail in a box. It was excellent. Please take mine. Just take your time. Please take mine. visited um, the Gardens by the Bay which is essentially a huge park. It's also home to two huge cooled conservatories, one of which is the largest in the world. There's the Flower Dome which is obviously full of flowers as you'd expect. We also visited the Cloud Forest which recreates a kind of tropical mountain landscape which is filled with orchids, ferns and other amazing greenery so that was absolutely beautiful and I'm so glad that we went there. Just take
And then on this night, we had dinner at a bar and restaurant called Level 33, which is a restaurant, unsurprisingly, on the 33rd floor overlooking Marina Bay. There was actually a thunderstorm at the time, so we didn't get to spend as much time on the balcony as I would have liked, um, but the views were still spectacular. And then on this Sunday, we went for a four hour champagne brunch at Edge, which is a restaurant in the Pan Pacific. Um, there was endless food stations and live kitchens, which you will be seeing an offensive amount of food before you at this minute. I don't think I've ever eaten so much food in my entire life, and we all just ate until we never wanted to see food again, and it was absolutely wonderful. <laughs> we went to Sentosa which is a small island that's just off Singapore. Um, saying that it's an island makes it sound like it's far away but it's really not. You can get to it by a cable car or driving over a bridge in fact. day we went to a Japanese spa called the Ikeda Spa. For Christmas my uncle booked all of us ladies, myself, my mum, um, my sister-in-law and my little cousin, um, a day at a spa and this slightly horrified me because I actually really dislike spas, I just kind of don't like the idea of strangers touching me. But actually when I found out that he had booked the entire spa out just for us four girls, um, I kind of guilt tripped myself into deciding to go and was very surprised that actually having made myself go I actually really enjoyed it. So I found a new experience that I enjoyed and I'm sure that I would definitely go back again. And then we visited Raffles. Um, named after Stamford Raffles, the founder of modern Singapore, as they say. Um, it's a colonial style hotel um, and it's rather a Singaporean icon, so you may have heard of it before. So we've been here before, but we had a good explore because it's just so pretty and it's one of those places that I feel like you have to visit when you go to Singapore. Yeah.
then on New Year's Eve we all just stayed in and had fun and played games and I filmed copious amounts of junk dancing but I shan't be showing you that, that's for my own personal enjoyment. So that's how we spent New Year's Eve. So we had tea and cake at TWG which is inside Takashimaya which is a Japanese department store on Orchard Road. Overall, it was such a lovely two and a bit weeks. Um, I had such an amazing time and it was so great to spend time with my family. And I'm already looking forward to going back to Singapore at the end of this year again. And I really hope that you enjoyed this. I'll see you soon. Bye!